Happening now, testimony is underway in the Alec Murdoch murder trial. Murdoch accused of killing his wife and son in the summer of 2021. Here's a live look right now from court. Some of the biggest headlines today include a debate over audio of Murdoch the week the murders happened. Attorneys debate what Murdoch actually said when referring to the death of his son, Paul. Some people believe the audio says I did him bad, while others hear they did him bad. Other topics discussed today include more information about the guns that were seized from the family's property and the type of ammunition used. Ammunition used. They, uh, so far, at least six witnesses have been called in to testify what they know about the murder investigation. And several more people could testify before the day is over. That's right. Erin Morgan is in Colleton County right now tracking the trial. She joins us live. Erin, tell us more about this audio and the impact that one word, I or they, could have on the case. Hannah, as you said, we've had several witnesses take the stand today. We are on our sixth witness today that is being questioned right now. And as for that video that you guys mentioned, that interview of Alec Murdoch a few days after the murders, that has been brought up a lot in court today as well. So that video, it shows investigators interviewing Alec Murdoch just days after the murders happened. We're going to play it out for you here in just a couple of minutes. But Special Agent Jeff Croft testified about the interview yesterday, saying Alec Murdoch said, I did him so bad bad when referencing Paul. Now today the video came up again as the defense was cross examining Croft and the video was played over and over again. The defense asked Croft Explain if he could report. say with certainty if he heard I did him so bad or they did him so bad. Take a listen to what he had to say. It was just so bad. They did it so bad. <laughs> We'd like to play it again at one third speed. It's just so bad. It is so bad. Did you hear they then? No, sir, I did not. Okay. But you would agree the jury gets to decide what he what he said on that tape. That's the best evidence. The I agree audience. that they get to hear the tape and make their own mind up as to what he said. Now, like Croft just said, he says it's ultimately up to the jury to decide what they heard. Now, he did say that he made a mental note of what Murdoch said with that statement, but he said he felt he did not have enough information to challenge Murdoch's statements in the moment. Now, as far as other testimony today, we've heard a lot about cell phone records and cell phone data. I will have much more on that coming up at 430. But Croft also talked about weapons that were seized from the Murdoch's Colleton County property. News 2's Hannah Powers back in the studio with more on that. Hey, Hannah. Hi, Aaron. That's right. Several rifles and shotguns were seized from the home. Ammo was also taken from the property as evidence, but most of it was lead based. And while there were lots of varieties of guns and ammunition found around the property, that's not unusual because it was a hunting property. Nevertheless, several of those weapons were taken as evidence. However, State Law Enforcement Division agent Jeff Croft testified today that he's not aware that SLED ever tied any of these weapons to the murders. And the discussion focuses heavily on the types of ammunition found around the property and the type of ammunition that was used to kill the victims. Paul Murdoch was killed with a steel shot and no similar ammunition was found anywhere else on the property. Here's some of that conversation in court today. Are you aware, sir, that the shot that blew Paul Murdoch's head off was Winchester dry lock steel waterfowl 12 gauge ammunition? I was aware that we were that the uh, pellets were steel. And you didn't find any similar ammunition that Moselle on June the 8th or any time after that, correct? I did not, sir. Agent Croft saying in court today that Alec Murdoch consented to every single search the night of the murders and subsequent searches. We have more coverage of the Murdoch murder trial ahead. Coming up on News 2 at 530, I will be joined by legal expert attorney Ronnie Richter, who's been in the courtroom throughout the trial and following the procedures he joins us to add more context and give his perspective on what's happening in the courtroom. And of course, you can get caught up on the case, watch the trial, or check out our live blog over on CountOn2.com.